Hey guys, Mrs. Gatch here. I'm going to show you today how you can do cloning with some of your video footage within iMovie. So to start out, I went ahead and recorded ahead of time um, two situations where I was going to be talking to myself. So one, if you want to see here, is I'm talking to myself from the left, and then I filmed opposite on the right. Now one thing I'm going to have you notice is that there was a little bit of a difference in lighting between this and that, and it will um, be a little bit noticeable in the final product of the video. So whenever you're filming your cloning footage, make sure that there is absolutely no change in the light or shadows. So to start out, I'm going to select my first round of footage here. So I'm going to start it where I'm walking in. Make sure I get all the parts where I'm talking. All right, and then just drop it right down. Let me turn up the volume here a little bit. I think it's turned down. And then now the second part. All right. So I'll select this here. And I'm going to go ahead and put it over. So if I play. This is how I talk to myself. You see that when it goes over, it's just a cutaway. And I want to be able to have myself come into the shot and be cloned. So this is what is the important key. You take your top footage, and up here there's going to give you a selection where it says video overlay settings. When you select it, it gives you several. There's a cutaway, which is what we're in right now. There's side by side, if you wanted to see what it looked like. It's not what we really would want to work with. And there's also picture in picture, which is a cute effect, but I'm not going to be talking to myself here. What I actually want is blue-green screen, and a lot of people don't uh, know to use this one because they don't think there's a blue or green background. So you would select blue or green screen, and what you notice here is these little um, kind of movable dots on the corner. And what happens is that you can then move these dots to reveal a person on the other side. And I usually like to try to cut as close as I can to myself as possible. Um, to make it look pretty noticeable. So then I would just hit check here and you can tell that there is a little bit of a difference. So that was that change with the lighting. Now this is where a bit of the work comes in because you have to align your audio. So let's listen. This is how I talk to myself. Hi. So clearly I came in way too early. Talk to myself. Hi. Oh, and I also did not film myself walking in, which is a very important aspect. So, oh. Let's grab that here, and let's see how, how it works. This is how I talk to myself. Hi, how are you? Probably still not close enough. And I see here that when I made that cut in, it's a really weird kind of transition in the beginning. So maybe I just want to keep it as simple as possible so it's more seamless. This is how I talk to myself. Hi, how are you? I'm doing great. I'm doing great. Oh, see, a little too early. So this is when you guys start to work with what would probably be best. So, this is how I talk to myself. Hi, how are you? I'm doing great. How about I'm doing you? Great. Who's your favorite teacher? That's easy. Mrs. Gatch. I would have chosen her too. See ya. Bye. So, obviously, it is not perfect, but that is how you would make a cloning effect. Now, some students have asked me, what would I do if I wanted to have more than one person? What you would have to do is you would have to go to share and export your video as a file and then re-import in. So it's kind of working the system, but what happens is when you export it as a file in a video, it'll save both of the clips together as one. You can re-import re in and add someone else. So I would probably just title this video cloning and then go ahead and export. I hope um, this gives you a little bit of motivation and confidence to go ahead and try your own cloning video. I know that I really enjoy them. Um, go ahead and save this. I look forward to seeing what kind of stuff you guys create um, in the future. Good luck.